big cat party about everything related to cats. Um, but it's rooted in advocacy. So everyone can come and wear their cat ears and buy cat beds. But really, we want people to come away with it with a little bit of education about how they can help cats a little bit more. Um, there's so many people that love cats and follow cats on Instagram and watch cat videos. Um, but there's also a lot of issues that cats face. There's a lot of um, you know, feral and stray cats in neighborhoods that need to be spayed and neutered so that they don't create more cats that don't have homes. Um, you know, you can foster kittens. You can help learn uh, about your cat's behavior so that you can like more peacefully coexist with it at home. So we wanted to take those two things, like a celebration of cats and all of the education and help uh, things that you can do to help cats and really put them together. So. There's a big vendor area cat camp with all kinds of cat merch and cat t-shirts and cat toys. But then also at the same time, there's all these panels and presentations going on about all different kinds of topics and issues related to cats. So you can come for the fun stuff, but then also leave with a little bit of education. So we're kind of like the power couple over here. Um, so our involvement with cat camp is we're actually raising awareness today for special needs pets. Uh, we did a panel yesterday with Little Bug, and we're trying to make people realize how amazing they are before they're put down in the shelter. So at 15 years old, uh, somebody left a cat in the box with a missing leg, and the leg was ripped off. So we decided to take her because they were going to put her down. So that's when I realized 20 years ago that the stigma uh, for special needs was just to automatically put them down. Uh, and I wanted to make a difference. Uh, the other thing is we try to make people aware of what special needs they can handle in their home if they're looking or interested in adopting special needs pets. Um, so we just try to explain to people like something like math is not really for everyone, because this requires a lot of work, but a blind cat requires no extra care. So we try to get those adopted out first, and then these are like the rare cases for people that want to give up their lives. <laughs> I am at Cat Camp right now explaining TNR, which is Trap, Neuter, Return. That's uh, for feral and stray cats. Uh, trap, I will catch them. Uh, neuter, spay and neuter, take them to the clinic to get them spayed and neutered. And then vaccinated and return back to the colony. Uh, if they can't, for whatever reason, go back to their colony, uh, I get them adopted through the first cat cafe in Atlanta called Java Cats Cafe. I actually always been a vegetarian, always loved cats, but I was doing music. I was, I actually was tour managing and doing music, but in between tours, I tried to find a job and it was at a shelter. I didn't know that it was even a job like that. I didn't know animal rescue, I didn't know shelter. So I went in, I interviewed, I was playing with cats and they was like, oh my God, we never even seen a man with cats like that. So they asked me to stay. And I did, and I've been hooked. I literally called all my rap friends back and was like, yo, done. Cat man. <laughs> um, Cat Camp was started in 2017 by a woman named Christina Ha. She is the founder of New York City's first cat cafe called Meow Parlor. And she realized that she had learned so much about cats when she first got a cat. And she wanted to put together an event for other people to learn about cats. She realized that there was a lot to learn. We personally, I personally love cats. My colleague Emily, who works with me on Cat Camp, also loves cats. Um, but we really believe in the message too. We're all animal lovers, and it's really fun to be able to help get the word out about something that we think is an important cause.